And a good Monday afternoon. Welcome to the News at 4. I'm Kim Fields. And I'm Brian Holmes. Starting today, law enforcement and prosecutors will have another tool to try and put away serial rapists. It's because of the test all legislation that went into effect today. Almost every single sexual assault kit will be tested unless it falls under very few circumstances. Joy Prechtel looked into this law today and spoke with those who helped get it passed. Joy, what hope, what do they hope comes from this? Well, a couple things, Brian and Kim. One of them is actually being able to empower the victim of a sexual assault. Now, there is almost no doubt that if the victim decides to go through that testing process, that evidence could be used later on in court. And also, with more testing, that means more evidence going into a national database. And that information could help law enforcement get a hit on a case. We're trying to support victims as well as increase public safety. Representative Melissa Wintrow said the test all legislation that will test nearly every single sexual assault kit in Idaho was the most important piece of legislation passed this year. If you know you're going to go through a, uh, a process to collect evidence off your body um, and it's not going to be tested, why would you go forward? Before this law, Wintrow says there was confusion on whether or not a kit should be tested. When a victim says, hey, I don't really want to go forward with prosecution right now or investigation, I'm not ready. I think that was being um, basically mixed up with testing the kit. But now that won't be the case. I think the real benefit is to the victims of crime. So we're looking at all of the sexual assault kits or most of the sexual assault kits in Idaho. Matthew Gammert works with ISP and says the additional data from testing more kits will help law enforcement catch serial rapists. We're able to pick up on those trends and we're able to um, use that data to help all of those victims in, in different cases. Before, there was a backlog of kits that weren't tested. This fixes that gap. Annie Hightower with the Idaho Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence says that left victims confused. It is really disappointing when someone gets an evidence exam completed and it's never tested and they don't understand why. Now the hope is that this new law builds trust in survivors of sexual assault. We'll take you seriously and it matters and we are going to investigate vigorously. And sends a message to those committing that crime. You will be held accountable. You're not going to get away with it. And we care about this crime and we care about stopping it. And you heard from the state police in that story. Well, he told me that the lab is now expecting more kits to come in to be tested. So we know the part of this bill was actually hiring another scientist to help with the additional work that that will bring in. And to make this part clear, the victim won't decide if the kit gets tested or not, but they will still decide if they do want to move forward with prosecution or not. And if the, if the victim does get the test done anonymously, then it won't be tested, but they will be able to track it and whenever they feel ready, they can make that call and have it tested. That's Guys. good to know that latter part that you said a big step in the state of Idaho for helping uh, victims rights. Joey, thank you.